is going to make drastic cuts to its flights in and out of Milwaukee June 1st. Tom Murray is live with us now. So what's next for the airline and also for passengers, Tom? Well, Mike Carroll, there was once a time when just about every businesswoman and businessman in Milwaukee had a Midwest Airlines frequent flyer card. Most of them probably had the Midwest Airlines MasterCard as well. Those miles went over to Frontier's program, and now the experts are saying, use them or you may lose them. Midwest Airlines, once Milwaukee's go-to carrier for nonstop flights. Just ask frequent flyers like advertising executive Jim Palmer. Frontier was going to some of the similar destinations I wanted to go to. Newark, Raleigh, Fort Myers, uh, etc. And now they don't fly to any of those places. No longer Midwest, now like Frontier. Soon the airline with animals on the tails will offer just seven flights a day out of Mitchell. I've been predicting that Frontier is an airline that is slowly spiraling into nothingness. I mean, I think it's an airline that's going to fail. Jay Sorensen was once a marketing manager for Midwest, and he's now an airline industry consultant. Your ability to redeem tickets is based upon having lots of flights available. That's no longer the case. While accumulating Frontier miles will still make sense for some travelers, Many, like Palmer, believe the miles they have left probably will not get used. I've used uh, recently in the last year uh, a couple of frequent flyer tickets to make sure I got to use those miles given the fact that it looked like Frontier wasn't going to be doing so well. Now Frontier says you can still redeem the miles to reach any of their 68 destinations. Problem is, to get to most of those cities, you'll have to go through Denver. Coming up tonight at 6, you will hear from the Milwaukee leader who worries that Frontier Airlines won't pay their bill on the naming rights to the Frontier Airlines Center downtown. For now, on your side, live at the airport, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Yeah, that's a very legitimate concern. Yeah. Tom, thank you very much.